Lucas Media. So I was watching Undisputed the other day. I seen a clip of it online. And they were talking about the All-Star game. Making modif modifications to it. Paul Pierce. Well, I, let me start off with this. Adam Silver came out and said that they're thinking about doing a USA versus the world. And players aren't into the All-Star game anymore. You know, players don't want to get hurt. Owners don't want players to get hurt. But Paul Pierce, top 75 player. And former M NBA champion. For the Boston Celtics had some interesting things to say he said that it starts with the top like almost like the 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 top dogs of the nba right the steph curry's the lebron's the kd's he specifically said that the younger people look up to them and they set the tone i hate to sound like an old head but growing up the all-star game was entertaining i would say maybe the first two and a half three quarters but when that fourth quarter came, you picked it up and the teams kept it close. I don't ever remember seeing it get remotely close to a 200 plus point game. That was extremely embarrassing. They play absolutely no defense. Now, I remember watching, like I said, the old All-Star games and, you know, the first quarter, people would do custom dunks. It would still be defense, but they would let people dunk for the fans. You get it. You try to put on for the fans. But then it got so bad to where they're not doing nothing at all. A lot of it honestly has to do with, yes, it's the cream of the crop. But these guys are just making way too much money. They don't care. We are in a softer generation than how it was 20, 30 years ago. NBA players back in the day, were they were blue collar workers. You know, you had players that was playing 82 games, no matter what they was going through in their personal life. Now you got players who will fake injuries and, you know, say they have mental problems, but yet they don't have a problem. You don't see them giving back them 20, 30 million dollars and they out here buying Bentleys and Ferraris and hanging out with celebrities at parties. But you got something going on. But he's right. Paul Pierce is right. If LeBron and Steph and them set the tone for the game, the younger players are going to pick it up. He even, he also said something. He said Kobe would have never let that happen, which is true. Kobe whole thing, just like Mike, all these people are paying their hard-earned money to watch us perform. Yeah, we're going to entertain the fans. We're also going to pick it up though in the fourth quarter. And it was it was embarrassing. Part of me wonder if David Stern was still alive in the commissioner how what would he have done but they're going to definitely have to make some modifications to convince these players to put on a better show not just for the nba game but just for games in general it ain't got so bad to where they say the inmates is running the asylum you got players that are literally saying i don't want to be here no more you know for x team but you can only trade me to y team and you just i don't know you 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 never seen this and the nba is in the tank it's hard to watch an nba game i'm sorry it is and i got the nba league pass and you just see them out there walking around laughing they care more about the fashion show before the game than the actual game but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it what y'all think